Welcome to the AACS Daily News for Thursday, June 25, 2015. The Attleboro Arts Museum opened the doors to its national juried exhibition during an opening reception yesterday evening. Executive Director Min Fawcett shared with us more about the show. I am delighted to be standing in the middle of the Otmar Gallery during the opening awards reception for our national juried exhibition and it is entitled Possessions Prized and Otherwise. Possessions Prized and Otherwise is a really interesting show. The premise behind the theme was to have artists consider the things that they hold dear and the things that they just plain hold, not only in their hands, but also within them. And what you see on the wall is a, an assortment of over 80 pieces from all over the country that address that theme. We have all mediums and all sizes. Our national jury shows are very open uh, as far as our qualifications go. But we have two guest jurors who came in this time, Nancy Grogan and Lucy Grogan of Grogan and Company Appraisers and Auctioneers. They viewed all the work and then selected the 80-some pieces that are here today. Uh, we are very interested in having people come through, taking a look at all of the work, and uh, letting us know what they think about uh, the pieces that they see. Many people have commented that they see things that remind them of treasured possessions that they have. Uh, a very dear tricycle from when they were growing up, or um, a particular doll, or you might see a piece that is very haunting and, uh, and you're somewhat possessed by that image. So it really runs the gamut and we're very proud of the artists that are in the show. This show runs from June 23rd through July 24th and it is open Tuesday through Saturday from 10 to 4. Admission is always free here at the museum. If you're interested in more information about this show and our other activities and events here at the museum, our website is www.attleboroartsmuseum.org. You can also call the museum, 508-222-2644. We'd be happy to tell you about our museum classes, exhibitions that are coming up beyond this, special events that we have. Although it's summer, is by no means a sleepy time here at the museum. There's a lot going on. The city of Attleboro is set to open its public pools on Saturday morning. Recreation Director Dennis Walsh spoke with us about the opening. Just wanted to let the residents of Attleboro know that our pools will be opening on Saturday, June 27th, uh, and they will be open through Friday, August 21st, and all pools will open, be open for swim for the public from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. daily, Monday through Sunday, the whole week. And then uh, we also do swim lessons from 9 a.m. until 11 uh, Monday through Friday. The pools, the price is remaining the same this year, $35 a person for a season's pass and a maximum of $140 per family. All pool passes are available at the pools. For those who are unfamiliar with our pools, there are four pools here in the city of Attleboro. We are very fortunate. We have this, the Briggs Pool in the east side. We have the Lydell Pool in South Attleboro. And we also have the Spatcher Pool, which is over on North Avenue. And that's a state-owned pool, but it's operated by the City of Attleboro Recreation Department. And we also have the Twin Village Pool, which most folks know as the Dodgeville Pool on South Main Street. So again, all four of these pools will be opening a week from Saturday, which will be June 27th at 11 a.m. Two of our newer pools have some outstanding features. They're both zero entry pools, which means that if you have youngsters, toddlers, they can walk into the pool on a gradual walk into the pool. It's not a jump into the pool situation. That's both here at the Briggs Pool in the east side and at the Spatcher Pool on North Avenue. The Spatcher Pool is a much bigger pool. There's we can have 300 people in that pool at a time. It's a huge Olympic-sized pool. Also at that pool, there are many spray features, which you also have here at Briggs. We have the mushrooms at both pools, which spray water, spray features that spray water up. There are buckets over at the Spatcher pool, et cetera. So there's some neat features at those two pools. Uh, a lot of work goes into maintaining the pools, getting them ready. We've been working on the pools for about a month now. Uh, Steve Bramwell is our certified pool operator, and Seamus Cuddy has been helping him get ready for the summer. And uh, you know, we, we paint all the pools, uh, just all, all the preparation, uh, painting the numbers on the sides, et cetera, making sure all of the uh, mechanics are working properly, et cetera. Uh, so we're geared up for this uh, weekend for Saturday when they finally do open. That's it for today's update. For AACS News, I'm Austin Ricketts.